police, firefighters, and military members from Maine and all across the country in Lewiston this weekend. They're there to compete in a very special hockey tournament to benefit Shriners Hospital in Boston. WMTW News 8's Morgan Sturdivan is live from the Androscoggin Bank Coliseum with more. Hey, Morgan. Hey, good morning, Katie and Norm. So I'm here with the executive director, Brenda, and we're going to talk about how this all began. Tell me about that, Brenda. Oh, my goodness. This was an idea five years ago. We started, I actually came to the Androscoggin Bank Coliseum and spoke to Mike Kane and the Canes and said, hey, I have an idea about bringing fire, police, and military into a hockey tournament. I don't know if it's going to work, but would you work with me? And, and they said, yes, we'd love to work with you. We started out with six teams, and here we are in our fifth anniversary, our benchmark. We've made it to 16 teams. Our first Canadian team, teams as far away as St. Louis, Maryland, um, all through the eastern seaboard. So we could not be happier to get that start on our fifth year anniversary. What does it feel like to see them, you know, out here this weekend after everything that, you know, they've done to get to this point, to get to this year? Right. Well, I, I get very emotional about it because I'm very passionate. Um, the Shriners have always been a big part of my life. I've started a bigger international event when I lived in another area in California. Um, now here in Maine, I've moved back to family and starting the event on an ice hockey tournament and getting this many people and building and growing every year and watching the guys come with such enthusiasm. They come to really want to skate, to play, and to help us raise money. That's fantastic. So and you've got some raffles this year, too. Oh, some of the new things this year, yes. We decided to try to have a bring the public in and have a lot of fun and we have about 15 20 prizes that we're offering and one of my favorites is a Polaris snowmobile uh, one eight scale uh, not a uh, 50th anniversary uh, collector's edition for one dollar so one dollar or you can win it with a raffle we also have something that Row Ford has offered us they're going to do a shoot to win this year so anyone can take to the ice for one dollar and if they get the puck into the six inch hole they win five hundred dollars and a fifty dollar gift certificate wow so, and we have plenty we have about fifteen more prizes from uh... hotel rooms at the ramada we have uh... the oxford casino um, dinners and restaurants and many things that's so exciting brenda and anybody's welcome to come out As everyone we're hoping to see a lot of people a hundred percent of the money from your tickets support the hospital in boston so we really appreciate it my goal is five thousand dollars this year we're we're getting close so i think at sunday we should probably make that that's great and they'll be done before the patriots game so what an exciting yes. and fun thing to do this weekend to come out here and see these teams play norma katie i think i might have a shot at that at that shootout too mm. <laughs> you definitely have a shot everybody does we saw you taking some practice shots earlier the wrist shot looks awfully good and morgan's a right-handed shot so i'm thinking that uh, that's almost a given that she gets that uh, the gift card there 500 bucks girl go for it here you go Thank you, Morgan. Great job, as always. And if you're in the Twin Cities, get up there and support them. It's, it's a lot of fun. And bragging rights at stake as well.